Today, I want to reignite your passion for financial freedom. Ah, the new year. This is one of my favorite times of the year. The new year offers a fresh start, a time to set new intentions, dial in on your goals. As you know, investing in real estate is a long-term game. And because of that, it can be easy to lose sight of your goals and become short on motivation. We all go through it. We set our intentions and then life gets in the way. We have so many distractions in our lives, things pulling us in different directions, people's expectations of us. You need to carve out time for yourself, okay? There's no better time than now to get back on track. Focus on your goals. Dial in your motivation. Start moving towards your financial goals. So for the new year, I'm bringing you some of my top tips for reigniting your passion for real estate investing and creating financial freedom. Let's get back to basics, folks. Number one, know your numbers. Track your progress. I know there's nothing more tedious than crunching numbers, but I actually find it so satisfying. Once you have that spreadsheet built, oh my gosh, once you're done and you're on the other side of it, there's nothing more motivating than seeing how far you need to go to reach your goals. Pull out your latest balance sheet, okay? Update your financial freedom number so you know exactly where you're headed. The best way to approach this part is with few emotions. There's no need to feel guilt or shame if you're not where you want to be. If you haven't made progress towards your goals recently, don't beat yourself up over it. You're just doing this exercise to gain an understanding of where you stand and where you need to go. Number two, bake learning into your daily routine. You know the saying and how it goes. You become like the five people you spend the most time with, right? Well, that's totally true. The best part is with access to technology, it's possible to learn from the world's best experts anytime you want. You're not limited to hearing from just the people in your family or your hometown who tell you, ah, you can't do that. You'll never amount to anything. You can't invest in real estate. Uh, haven't you, didn't you watch that one documentary on Netflix one time? They'll tell you every reason you can't do something. You know these people, right? With books, audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube videos, you can learn from some of the most successful investors in the world. This whole channel is totally free. We have so many great free resources for you right here on this channel. I mean, I've done thousands of real estate deals in my life. I've built up a portfolio of rental properties to take care of my family. We run a full service rental real estate company. We help hundreds of clients every year build financial freedom. I kind of know what I'm doing and I've built an entire YouTube channel for free. And it's all right here on this channel. Literally everything you need to know about investing in real estate is here on this channel and it's all free. So get those old voices out of your ear. All of the people that you're surrounded with that tell you you can't do something. Get rid of the losers in your life. Make learning about real estate investing, building wealth, make it a regular part of your life. If you've got a daily commute, a walking routine or regular reading time, Consider how you can add some of this content in while you're walking the dog, learning about investing in financial freedom while you're just walking and taking you know, a walk with the dog or riding your bike or doing something else routinely around the house, cleaning up, doing laundry, right? Folding laundry, doing the bed, whatever it is, right? Just be consistent about it. Keep investing front of mind to boost your motivation and your commitment, okay? Put it right there, top of mind, and it will come to you. Number three, Revisit your why. If you need to reignite your motivation right now, there's nothing more powerful than bringing it back to your why. Why are you doing this? Why do you want to invest in real estate? Is it because you, know, you don't want to be on the road driving two hours to and from work? Do you want to spend more time with your family? Maybe your parents are getting older. You want to be closer to them and you don't need to be at the office. You want to be with your family. If you don't have a strong motivator for reaching your goals, then of course you're going to get off track. Revisit your why. Determine why financial freedom matters to you and then ruminate on the value investing in real estate can actually add to your life. Number four, set up meetings. Accountability can be a powerful motivator. So don't be afraid to involve others in your process, whether you're sitting down with your spouse to have a family meeting once a month, reaching out to a mentor, or checking in with professionals. Schedule some time, set, schedule some check-ins with people who want to see you succeed. Maybe you even have a mastermind group. Natalie and I have had mastermind groups throughout our lives and it's been powerful. Once a week, getting together with some really incredible individuals who each hold you accountable for success. It's important that you identify other people who can cheer you on, encourage you, keep you accountable. But if you've ever worked with our team, we would love to hear about how you're doing. 
Circle back with your portfolio manager on our Morris Invest team so we can discuss your freedom number, your purpose-driven goals, help you determine the path forward. So if we haven't spoken to you in a year and a half, maybe you've already bought one rental property, two rental properties, give us a call, talk with us, okay? Say you'd like to schedule a call with our team. That way we can see where you are right now in your life. Has anything changed? We love hearing from you and we'd be happy to help you get over any roadblocks that you have. Listen, our team talks to investors all day and we've heard it all, by the way. We love supporting investors throughout their entire journey, the highs, the lows. That's why we do it for free. We're always available to hear about how things are going and you can schedule a free call with our team by just going to morrisinvest.com. Click on the book a call button. All right, number five, talk with successful investors. Do you think that the most successful investors have lost their motivation at some point? Of course. Do you think they've ever gone through a dry spell, gotten distracted, felt discouraged? Of course they have. Don't be too proud to talk to some of those friends. Share your struggles. Ask for advice. But if you're thinking, but Clayton, I don't know any successful investors, then it's time to change that right now. It's important that you surround yourself with other like-minded people, whether that's in person by going to a local real estate meetup group, which you can find very easily by going to meetup.com and looking for REI groups in your town. You're going to find them. A good place to start is by visiting these groups, shaking their hands, getting to know them. And if you have a question for me, I'm always available through my voicemail. You can leave me a voicemail question here on the show, and I'll try to answer it right here on our show. Just go to morrisinvest.com. You'll see a microphone icon that's on the right side of your screen. Just click that. Leave us a 30-second voicemail question, okay? Now, make sure there's no background noise when you do that, though. Don't leave uh, any personal contact information like your personal phone number or email or anything like that because it's going to be broadcast to thousands of people, okay? And listen to my Q&A episodes to see if you have any questions. Maybe one of your questions has already been answered by somebody else who asked that question, okay? Number six, keep a journal. There's something impactful about putting pen to paper. Get out a notebook specifically for investing and journal about everything that we talked about in this video. Write down your freedom number. Write down your why. Write down the things that you've learned in books and podcasts and conversations. Keep notes that you have with other people. Maybe you went to an REI meeting and you heard something incredible from somebody there that night. Usually they have speakers, you know, that will kind of speak beforehand for 30 minutes and then open it up and everyone can like, gather around, have a drink, talk and get to know each other. Here's a contractor here. Here's an investor here. Here's a, here's a realtor over here. And share stories. Write it down. This is a great way to keep you in the right headspace and reinforce those positive habits. Now, I hope this video helped give you some tips, maybe tap back into your motivation and zero in on your goals so that you can advance towards this financial freedom this year. So from everyone at Morris Invest, we really hope that this year is your best year ever. And we can't wait to see what you accomplish in this financial year. For more financial education, check out this next video, The Four Habits of Highly Successful Real Estate Investors. Click it, and we'll see you next time, everyone.